This video will explain the concept of web accessibility checkpoints and demonstrate how you can use them in your tests. When testing web applications, it's important to ensure that your web pages are accessible and conform to the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines and Section 508 standards. TestComplete allows you to automate this kind of check using web accessibility checkpoints. These are test operations that perform various checks on your pages. For example, they allow you to verify that alternative text is specified for images, or they can let you verify that hyperlinks are not broken. So you can very easily identify problematic areas of your web pages. And today, I'll demonstrate how you can use these checkpoints in your tests. I'm going to record a test that will perform some verifications over a web page by using a web accessibility checkpoint. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I've just jumped into Test Complete, and as you can see, I've already created a new project, and I've added Notepad to my list of tested applications. Now you may be thinking, Notepad? Nick, I thought we were going to test web pages. Well, we actually want to test Notepad's help files today, and those help files are HTML based, so we'll be able to verify that Notepad's help is accessible. Okay, so now let's go ahead and record a test. I'm going to click the Record a New Test button. Test Complete minimizes down. I'm going to expand my toolbar here. Launch Notepad. Okay, Notepad's been invoked. And now I'm going to go to Help, View Help. Here we go, my Help page is loaded up. And now we want to verify that this page is accessible. So I'm going to come up here to my Checkpoints toolbar button and select Create Web Accessibility Checkpoint. So I'm going to start out by using this finder tool to select the web item I want to work with. And in this case, it's just the inner frame right here that contains all this data about Notepad. So I'm going to release the mouse. We're going to take all the information that we save off and store it inside of a file called Web Accessibility 1. Okay. And now what I can do is specify the comparison options for this particular page. So we can verify that all the images have alt text, we can verify that there are in fact mail to hyperlinks on this page, we can verify link accessibility, that means we're going to verify there are no broken hyperlinks on the page. So I'm just going to uncheck a bunch of these because really all I want to do is verify the alt text and the link accessibility. So we're going to uncheck these other features. Okay, so I've got all the things checked that I want. Okay, so now my checkpoint's been created. Now I'm going to close the notepad help window, then we'll close notepad itself and stop recording. All right, and here's the test we just created. So we start out by invoking Notepad, then we select Help, and then we perform our web accessibility checkpoint. Now, it's important to note that we can create these checkpoints after the fact simply by coming right here on the Checkpoints palette and selecting Web Accessibility Checkpoint. Just drop that on, and that's going to bring up the exact same wizard that we just walked through a moment ago. Now, if you want to review the types of checks that are being performed by a Web Accessibility Checkpoint, all you have to do is right-click on it and say, Go to Checkpoints Data Editor. And that's going to pop up a list of all of the available checks, show you which ones are enabled, and which control is being validated by that particular check. All right, at this point, let's go ahead and run our test. I'm just going to flip back to my test case here the save button and then we'll run our test. Now test complete will take over and perform that same sequence of actions that we just recorded. Okay, I fast forwarded a bit and now you can see our log file has been generated here. We started out by invoking notepad, we clicked view help, and then our web accessibility checkpoint failed. And if we come down here into the remarks panel, you can see exactly what went wrong. We can see that the alt attribute of this particular image was not specified. You can see right there. So a lot of these images don't have alt text assigned to them. So we could go through now, make a list of those images, give those back to our developers and say, hey, you need to provide alt text for these images. This concludes our video on creating web accessibility checkpoints in Test Complete. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the email addresses on your screen. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy automating your tests with Test Complete.